day, boys and girls. So excited to have this program here today, and I'm not sure if you realize, but there are real chefs that work for you. They uh, come up with the recipes to um, cook the food for you each and every day. And I'm so excited that we have folks here today from Project Bread who are going to be um, allowing you to, they're sharing some samples with you today, and they're actually some of your favorites. But first, I would like to introduce Carrie Prevett from Project Bread. Can we give her a nice round of applause? Thank you for that warm welcome. Um, thank you, Dr. Bailey, for the introduction. And I do, I want to take a moment. Um, thank you for letting us interrupt your lunch today. I, I know you're here, this is your break and a chance to talk and socialize with your friends, but what's happening in your cafeteria right now is really, really special and important. And, and I think I want to make sure you understand how, um, how, how unique this, this is here at, at, at Keith Middle School. Um, our Chefs in Schools program strives to transform school food and create sustainable changes in cafeterias across the state. What that means to you is we want to make sure you have the healthiest, tastiest food on the menu possible. Not only that you have access to it, but that you have a voice in it, that you get a chance to give feedback, that you're not being served something you don't want to eat, that you enjoy eating, that's healthy, that's going to fuel your mind, it's going to set you up for the rest of the day and make sure you're successful. So I just want to take a moment now to thank Dr. Durkin, um, who has really been a, a big partner in the work that we do. Chefs in Schools isn't just one chef who comes to your schools. It's a team effort. It requires a huge partnership. And I also want to acknowledge um, who makes it possible for us to be in this room today. And that's our partners at Stop and Shop um, and our family foundation. The funding that they give us make it possible for Chef Kim to be here and the funding that they give us make it possible for us to work with you and work to transform your menu um, throughout the school year. So Taba Williams is here. Take a minute, you guys wanna give him that same round of applause. Taba's here to, to represent um, his whole team at Stop and Shop and the foundation. Um, he's also the manager at the Dartmouth Street store, so if any of you are there and you happen to be with your um, parents and guardians shopping, if you see him, I'd say give him a high five, because uh, the work that they do is, is really powerful and the funding they give us makes this possible. Um, and that team effort extends beyond the funding, as I mentioned. It requires alliances and support from the leadership at your school. Uh, Dr. Bailey, Dr. Durkin at the district level, and I want to take a moment to acknowledge all the work that Dr. Durkin has done. And Dr. Durkin has spent uh, a great deal of time making sure that you have, excuse me, have, the, have healthy food, that you have breakfast in the classroom, that you have a chance to uh, vote on what you enjoy. And I think what's really exciting is Chef Kim, Chef Guy here are serving up some samples. Um, but this is one you've already given two thumbs up to, and this one's on your menu, and this is Puyo Guisado that uh, you guys, many of you might already have on your trays today. So um, it's important that we acknowledge the partnerships that make this possible. I want to thank you because it means that you've taken time to give us feedback because these items don't make it on the menu um, and make it all the way into the team that works in the kitchen to learn how to cook this delicious food for you um, without your thumbs up. So thank you for giving us feedback. We hope you'll continue to do that as we introduce new recipes. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And with that, I do want to turn it over to your superintendent, Dr. Durkin. Thank you.
But I know Keith Middle School is ready to make the right choice, always. So just be a little more patient. Thank you. Thank you so much. Chef Kim and Chef Guy have helped us figure out what are the right choices for middle school students. How do we survey our students to make sure that we're serving food that kids want to eat and that it's also healthy and that it has some variety. No one likes to eat the same thing every day. Okay? So try the new things that are coming out. But we're very happy. We want to thank Project Bread. We want to thank Chef Kim and Chef Guy. Project Bread and Chef Educators. Not every school system has chefs working with us. We're very delighted that we have chefs that are interested in how our children eat. I want to thank Nancy Carval, who is our supervisor for food services. And I also want to thank the Stop and Shop Family Foundation. Stop and Shop does a lot of things for us behind the scenes and in front of the scenes, particularly Tate Williams, who's here today. But I also want to thank Dr. Bailey and your administration. So I'm going to ask you what you taste today, what you like about the food you're eating, to definitely let your teachers and your assistant principals know, as well as Dr. Bailey. Because in New Bedford, we want to make sure that we are always improving. So, who can give a thumbs up to what they're being served? Is it good? More. Okay. All right. It'll come. It'll come. All right. So I want to thank you very, very much, and please say thank you to our partners because we know they're very important.